So in the last video uh, that you watched, we talked about horizontal and vertical translations. And now we're going to talk about the second type of possible transformations. And these are vertical stretches and compressions. Or sometimes they're called stretches and shrinks, but your book generally refers to them as compressions. Now you may have noticed uh, that in the last video, when we were doing our translations, that meant that we were either adding or subtracting a value to either our x or our y variable. And with this idea of translations and compressions, or excuse me, stretches and compressions, instead of adding or subtracting, now we're going to be multiplying. So here's an example. I'm using uh, our favorite parent function, y equals x squared. I've already got that function graphed. Now, if I want to do one type of uh, transformation here, and again, this involves multiplication, uh, I'm going to do this function, I'm going to graph 2x squared. So let's see what happens there. Uh, one of the points in my parent function is the point 0, 0. And of course, if I plug 0 in for x, uh, 2 times 0 squared is just 0. So that point hasn't moved at all. Now, if I plug uh, the point, oops, there's my eraser. Now if I point, plug 1 in for x, I get 2 times 1 squared. So I've got a value, x value of 1 and a y value of 2. So that's the this point, if I can get it to graph, oops, there we go. And then same thing if I plug in negative 1 for x. I get negative 1 squared is positive 1 times 2 is 2. So that point's going to show up here on my parabola. If I plug in 2 for x, then I get 2 squared is 4 times 2 is 8. So that's not quite going to fit on my graph, but you can imagine it. So that point's going to be about up here. And then there will be a similar point over on the left side. If I plug in negative 2 for x, of course that becomes positive 4, and then positive 4 times 2 is 8. So here in red is my transformed function, and notice that it's a little bit narrower than what our original parent function was. Now I'm going to do the same thing, only I'm going to graph our other transformed function, which is h of x, and that's 1 half times x squared. So let's see what happens there. Uh, as usual, uh, if I plug 0 in for x, 0 squared is 0, 1 half times 0 is 0. So that function is also going to have uh, the point 0, 0 in common with the other two. Now if I plug 1 in for x, 1 squared is 1. 1 times 1 half is 1 half. Uh, so my next point on the graph is going to be the point 1, 1 half. And that point will have uh, its corresponding point on the left. If I plug in negative 1 half, or negative 1 for x, I'll get a positive 1 half again. Which doesn't, there we go. And now if I plug in positive 2 for x, 2 squared is 4, 1 half of 4 is 2. So I want to have that next point out on my graph, and then if I plug negative 2 in, I think you probably get the idea. Uh, come on, let me graph. There we go. And let's do one more for good measure. Uh, if I plug in 3 for x, 3 squared is 9, half of 9 is 4 and a half. 1, 2, 3, 4 and a half, right there. And then also over here on the other side. So now I'm going to graph my beautiful parabola. And there you go. There's our next transformed function. So let's see if we can draw some conclusions about what we've just done here. We've got our parent function in that bluish color. When we transform the parent function by a factor of 2, we got the red function, which looks like it shrunk down our function a little bit or made it more narrow. And when we multiplied uh, our function by a half, it, it pulled it out a bit. Uh, and now, of course, that I've just said that, I'm going to confuse you all entirely with this rule. So if you have a stretch or a compression, Here's what you need to think about. What, again, what we're doing is we are taking our parent function and we're going to be multiplying by some value of a. Uh, all you need to do is to remember these two rules. You have a stretch if a is greater than 1. Now, based on our picture back here, we know that um, a was bigger than 1 when we were multiplying by 2. And, of course, I just said that that makes it look more narrow, which I shouldn't have said. Misspoke there. Think of it as if your function is being stretched up vertically. That might uh, make a little bit more sense. Um, 
as a tall person, I'm always told to stand up straighter because I like to hunch down a lot. So maybe if I think that I'm standing up straighter, that makes me a little taller. So that's how I'm stretching myself out. Uh, so the other type of uh, transformation that we can get if we're multiplying is a compression. And that occurs when A is between 0 and 1, which is what we had in our second function over here when we were multiplying it by a factor of 1 half. So again, just to review what we've talked about in the last two videos, you have a translation if you're adding or subtracting a value to your function, and you have a stretch or compression if you're multiplying your function by a value.